Good morning, church. This Thursday and Friday, as we recorded worship uh, heavy in our minds, uh, was the death of George Floyd and the events of the week. But uh, we could not have imagined, even since then, how uh, the situation would continue to unfold. And so we wake up on this Pentecost morning with cities that are burning, burning not with the fire of the Spirit, but burning from years of, of injustice and racism, burning from years of pain, burning from complicated issues. In Minnesota, we have white supremacists uh, with black protesters trying to inflame the violence. And uh, so we wake up this morning and uh, we have never needed the Holy Spirit more than we do right now. And so uh, before we begin our worship, I just would like to invite you to pray with me. Come Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Oh God, today our cities burn and they do not burn with your fire, but with the, with the pain of years of history with injustice that has gone on too long and with misunderstanding. And so we pray for all who are hurting, for all who are grieving, for all who are angry, and for all the ways that racism continues to, to inflame our society and to separate us and to cause injustice. We ask for your spirit with us now, not a spirit of complacency, but a spirit of action, a spirit of boldness, a spirit of truth, so that we can be in this world in a way that shows your love for all people in the midst even of these times. Hold us up as a church, Lord. Hold us up as individuals. Be with us, be with our cities, be with our nation. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Amen. <laughs> 